I can't honor Al Oldham enough. 30, over 30 years ago, I came here and um, it was the first time in this chapel that we used overhead projectors and things. The year before was all hymn books and they sang all hymns. So I was the first one to, uh, to break the mold. And um, you know, Al defended me. And he had the insight to see we now have five youth weeks. It's amazing. And he had the vision for that. But I just appreciate you, my friend, and thank you so much. I know that he would be thrilled that the legacy of Al's faithful walk and commitment to the preaching of the word at Harvey Cedars will be a lasting tribute with the naming of the chapel in Al's honor. Honoring Al with this lasting designation is not only laudable, it's also logical. Congratulations, Al Oldham, and thank you for your legacy that continues to be appreciated by me and by so many others. We are thankful for your life and testimony and the legacy you will leave, not only for Harvey Cedars Bible Conference and the Ministry of Christian Camping. May God bless you. Your brother in Christ, Dr. Bill Welty. There is a verse in Proverbs that says something like this, how delightful is a timely word or how delightful is the right word at the right time. So for you, dear brother, thanks. And calling it the Oldham Chapel was one of the best ways we can express our thanks to you. Till he comes, forever grateful, Brooke Solberg. It has been one of my goals this year to honor my father. And like I said, I don't believe that this place would be here if God had not sent you here at the time that he did. And I think it's fitting to take a few minutes today to do so, to honor you and to recognize you and to name this chapel, the Oldham Chapel. Although, Dad, I know that your reward will be in heaven, and I think that that's really what's important to you. But it's, it's fitting to recognize your life of service and commitment to Harvey Cedars. And that is the commitment that my dad started, and it's the foundation that we have built upon, and it's the commitment that we have today, that this pulpit is about preaching the gospel. And I think if there's any legacy that you leave, Dad, that will be the one that is the most important. And that is why it is so fitting that we name this chapel and honor you today. God worked in my life in so many, many ways. And I'm so grateful for that. Harvey Sears is here because God loves us. And because we need to communicate the love of God to other people. Oh, dear friends, that we might love the Lord Jesus with all of our hearts. Yes. I could say. Grace doesn't mean that Jesus helps you out. Grace doesn't mean you do your part, Jesus does his. Grace means you've got no shot if he doesn't come to get you. You're going down without a hope or a prayer unless Jesus, the lifeguard, comes and rescues you. That's the gospel. That's what Harvey Cedars is about. Father, we give you thanks for uh, Paul passing the baton to Timothy. Thanks for Timothy taking the baton and passing it. And in a real sense, we gathered this morning because people have run well and the baton has been passed all the way from Jesus to us. Well, now, Lord, it's our turn to run. Help us to run well. Help us to pass the baton. Help us to keep grace central as the priority, to live out the picture and to make sure that we're prepared for whatever you bring. We can't predict in detail what will happen. We need to be prepared for whatever you bring. Thanks for giving us all we need to face whatever you bring our way. We pray in Christ's name. Amen.